Hi everyone, I am back with a, I guess this is a plan with me video. Um, I, I don't, I'm not going to write anything in the video. So um, all of this comes with like a daily routine. But um, this is this week and we're going to set up the week of April 1st through 7th. Which is kind of funny because I'm redating this Hobonichi Weeks. And um, this one is January 1st through 7th. So I just thought that was funny. Um, anyway, I'm going to use the Sweet Kawaii Design uh, Hobonichi Weeks Kit Cherry Blossom um, 23. There is there is that 23 on there. And this is what the kit looks like. So it's two pages. Um, let's go ahead. I've never done this on video before ever so um let's hope this turns out okay so i'm going to take the bottom washi and put it on the bottom and i am going to let you know right now i have ocd so um sometimes this takes me a little bit longer than it would a normal person try not to move my little mat here um just because i'm so picky about I'm trying to get this to where I can see where the stickers go down. So hopefully, hopefully these go down pretty easy because I am filming and I would like this to go <laughs> really smooth. And okay, so so far not so bad. Do it this side. Gonna move this over. This just helps me see underneath the page so I know where the edge is. You don't have to do that. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't terrible. That went pretty smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little sidebar. I have like a, a pattern I do when I'm doing this. So you'll see me kind of go. It, it kind of starts here and then it goes up and then over it's you know it's a system so then I'm just going to cover this right here And just like that, we've got our little sidebar with our days of the weeks. And then this mat keeps moving. Um, now I'm going to do the top washi up here, which is this really pretty lime, I don't know, it's like a, it's not really a lime green, but it's really pretty. And I do cover the month and everything up on the top. I am redating this, so that's one of the reasons that I go ahead and cover it. And then, see, that's not straight to my eyeballs. So the great thing about Tasia's stickers is that these are on, these are matte removable vinyl. So you can kind of slowly peel them up and place them back down if you don't like where you put it. Just be aware that the longer the sticker sits on the paper, the more it will adhere. So, I mean, it's still a sticker. Then we'll get this side. Alright, so kind of like that. There is my my frame. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and do my little cherry blossoms that are going to go down. So these are little checklists. But I just use them as decoration because I don't use this as a daily planner. This is my... It's kind of a mood tracker and social media. So 
I just think that it kind of finishes off the uh, the look of the page when I put the little decorative stickers on there. Well, I call them decorative, but typically if you're using a Hobonichi Weeks as a daily, this would be your checklist. Hopefully this video is not terribly boring for you guys. Just thought I would come on here and kind of show how I set this one up. I like to do a couple of weeks at a time. So instead of doing it and then just posting pictures, I thought, well, I've got everything out. So I just decided to film this one instead. Hopefully you guys like it. <laughs> And then this last one down here. All right, so there's my cute little cherry blossoms. And then we're gonna move to this side, which we're going to take the trackers and put these, I'm sorry, I have to turn this so I can line up my little squares over here on my grid. And place this one down and that is not straight so like I said I do I do like that these are removable so I can get it straight there we go and then if you're using um, the EK Success or EK Tools um, tweezers, because, whoops, they are so short, sharp on this edge, just be really careful when you're sticking. I've poked a hole through my stickers before and was like completely devastated. So just be careful with your tweezers if you're lifting your stickers back up with a set of tweezers. All right, then this one's going to go underneath. I cannot get this straight. Kind of at a weird angle here. There we go. So that's that. Then I'm going to take my large blank schedule here. I'm going to turn it again. Sorry. And we're going to put this one right underneath. Oh, didn't want that to go down yet. Come on. There we go. So just like that. Yeah, that one's not very straight either. <laughs> oh, man. This is actually going a lot smoother than I kind of thought it was. Um, typically this takes me a minute <laughs> because I'm so OCD about these stickers going on pretty straight. That is not I'm trying to follow this little dotted line here. I think I got it. There we go. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get today on film. So this, um, these are my Instagram and Facebook trackers. And then this is my YouTube video tracker. And then how did I do it? Um, we're going to put the this week sticker down. So this one, I'm actually going to turn it this way. And I typically like fold it up so it doesn't stick to the page. That way I can get it down. And I'm gonna worry more about the words or the word, well, you know, the this week being straight. And then I will straighten out my little tails here. So just like that, we have this week. 
And then we're going to put our little header with Simon, George, Frank, and Poe. I just love these. They're so cute. All right, so this one I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn it this way again so I can get underneath where it says this week and not overlap that. So just like that, we've got our header. And then next, I'm going to do my boxes. These boxes, I've been asked what I use these boxes for. And these little boxes, I use as a daily highlight. So it's been working really, really well. I think I'm gonna go up a square, let's see. Go to this one. So I put all seven of these on here. That one. This is kind of repetitive, but I don't like to edit videos. And I don't like to cut anything out. I just, I, I've always been in the habit. I've had this YouTube channel since April of 2010. And I've never done like any kind of speed, speed through or um, a lot of editing at all in my videos. I just don't like to do it. So... If you like real-time videos and you don't mind mistakes, because <laughs> I am not perfect. I have made plenty of mistakes if you watched any of my past craft videos and tutorials. But the cool thing is I have showed you how to fix it too. <laughs> so I have, I've had my share of oops. So that one on there. Sorry, this is driving you crazy. I, <laughs> I have pretty severe OCD. Um, I just actually learned how severe it really is. So I, I try to see now this is all going to, I should have started on the bottom. Because now there's like that big space on there. So. I think what I'll do is I'm just going to peel these up and kind of move them down a little bit. Again, I hope this isn't driving you crazy. I'm going to go right here instead. So then I can move these ones down a little bit more too, which technically will look better because then it won't be overlapping my little header right there. See how easy those come up? I love it. Then that one, and then I'm just gonna move these down a little bit, and then we should be done with the boxes. Then I can add, see, I actually tore the paper there a little bit. Um, add some deco stickers. There we go. This one, go a little bit slower, there we go. This one on here. Trying to line it up with the one over there. And then this last one. Again, sorry if this is driving you crazy. <laughs> needs to go up a little bit more about there and we'll call it good but see what I mean that looks way better so now it's more 
evenly spaced, I think. Okay, so deco. Um, I usually put little deco spots here. And for that, I think I'm going to do this little fan over here. And then I'm going to take these little flowers and do these over on this side. And then if I want to use these, so I've got the little deco pieces left, um, I can put them like anywhere on here. So let's do the days. And then the rest of these numbers on this little cherry blossom kit are the numbers that I will use for the rest of the month. Just because some of some of the date dots that are in the weekly kits are slightly different. And if I start with one, I typically finish it for the month because, you know, that's my OCD. It's it's bad but the numbers have to match I know some people just kind of go with the flow and do whatever and I think that's awesome I watch a lot of planner videos of people that are just you know kind of doing whatever on the page and I love it I just can't do it my brain will not let me so <laughs> apologies ahead of time because if I continue doing these this is basically what you're gonna see um, so this is what I have left and again, like I said, I will use these numbers for the rest of April. And then I will come in and do, I don't title these, these parts. Like I know this is April because this is Easter. So this is the end. I do have um, a decoration there. And then I did do this one here. Um, and then, yeah. So I did change the way I was doing it. I had... Um, this and then I added my other tracker or blank schedule that comes with the kit to track my YouTube videos. So that's the only difference I changed and then I changed kind of the layout down here just to kind of make all of these stickers fit on this right side. So I use the left side for writing and then I have started um, using some little um, reset stickers. Um, so this is Simon meditating and yeah, the start of this week was actually on my nerves. But then this is Connie with a little heart. So I, emotion stickers, I guess, since I'm tracking my mood. So it's like a mood or an, an emotion. And um, so I will continue doing this because I think it's really cute. And she has tons of little critter stickers. So that's it. That is my plan with me for today. Again, I don't write in here until I need to for the week like this. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will put a link in the description underneath the video. So you guys can go check out Tasia's shop. Um, here is her Instagram as well. She's at Sweet Quiet Design. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.